time to meet our special guest quiz master, and this is a first for us. I don't think we've ever had an Australian of the Year on before. Well, let's fix that. Say hello to Grace Tame. <laughs> See you. Thank you. You've been uh, you've been watching the show so far. Yes, I have been. And now I'm worried that I'm wearing green. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, at least I've got patterns on, and I'm not yeah. uh, hiding in plain sight. Yeah, it's, no, no, we, you're all you're all safe there. Now, of course, Australian of the Year in 2021. What, what was one of the highlights? Well, look, I can't speak for all survivors of child sexual abuse. It's one in six uh, boys and one in four girls. But the highlight for me has been seeing this uh, recalibration of power, if you will, um, this shattering of shame. Mm. And uh, I've had some really amazing, electrifying private moments with fellow survivors. Mm. Uh, yeah, just, just sitting with them and, and people are sharing their stories that they would have, you know, otherwise taken to the grave with them. Mm. You know, and I'm talking people, some of these people are in their 70s, yeah. 80s, you know, and, and that's just been amazing to see, you Absolutely. know, and, and that power is being uh, rightfully taken away from perpetrators of abuse. So sure. uh, take that, you rock spider pricks. Mm. <laughs> yes, Ursula. Um, and I'm sure she meant no offence calling out your wrestling name, Tom. Is that... <laughs> Now, we know you, of course, as an advocate and activist, but you've added a new string to your bow. You're now an author. Grace has oh, a memoir correct. out, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. So, in a, in a nutshell, what's it all about? Uh, me. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a good place to start. Very impressive cover. Uh, where did you find that artist? Uh, that's also me. Mm. <laughs> You did it with, like, a Woolworth Sharpie or something? Yeah, a pen. Yeah, that is, that yeah, is... just one of these guys. Wow, that yeah. is very... Ed, you've written a few books. Ever thought to do your own cover art? Yeah, look, my, 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 most of mine are on the dark web. Tommy, to be fair... Okay. Uh... <laughs> one illustrations we can show here. Grace, what was harder, uh, writing the book and illustrating the cover or small talk with Tom? <laughs> I think you know the answer. Yeah. <laughs> You are on the show. <laughs> yeah, I think we all know the answer. You describe yourself as a comedy nerd. Um, have you booked tickets to Sam's comedy show? <laughs> I, I, I will. <laughs> that's that's what we all say. <laughs> yeah, well, good try booking. They're, they're sold out. There we go. Right? <laughs> All right, now, Grace has very kindly, very bravely agreed to ask some questions. We've got the cards there, Grace. Why All right, Tim, are we you ready? See okay. whether these folk have been paying attention. There's been a huge change for Australia's High Court. What's happened? Ursula. Uh, I know this one. There's more lady judges now than boy judges. That is correct. Yeah. Yes, Sam. That is correct. And, Tom, but, Tom, earlier in the week, we you go. were saying that this, this was just another example of political correctness <laughs> gone mad. He, he said that to me during the week, Grace. Yeah. Not said, Grace. Yeah. Just yeah. ignore him. All right, next question, please, Grace. Gwyneth Paltrow has released this image. What is the occasion? Lloyd. Is she uh, the new face of old gold? <laughs> 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 Maybe not... I'd buy chocolate. Yes, she should be. Uh, so what's the occasion? No, um, she's turning 50 and she's got that body. And if I had that body, I'd walk around naked on my hands. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, Tommy, you did it. When you turned 50, what were you covered in? <laughs> what were you covered in, that Tommy? That was still the days of lead paint, didn't yeah. you? <laughs> <laughs> you were feeling covered in Jesus. No, it was... <laughs> uh, next question, please, Grace. It's been a big week for Jimmy Barnes. What's going on there? Yes, the, uh, the wardrobe is a clue. Ed, head of music at Hogwarts. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, uh, Lloyd. I'm guessing he's been given an honorary degree <laughs> from the University of South he's Australia. Done it. Has he done? It? <laughs> Correct. Oh, oh, off, Lloyd. Yes, yes. It's actually a doctorate. Yes, so you, you want to take the points from Lloyd? Depends. Do you want the right answer Here or not? Here we go. <laughs> Grace, it's I your segment. Will... Yes, that's correct. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. We had more specificity from Lloyd Thank in you. that he got the right I got university. The university yeah. Yeah, I think it, nothing... it was a doctorate. Do we, can we split points? Be nothing no. more embarrassing than having the shit belt out of me by someone who's into jazz. <laughs> We are going to move on, and, and Grace, you've suggested five points, Lloyd. Five Love points, that. Sam. That's Please. fair. Moving on, please. All right. Rihanna will officially be headlining what event next year? Lloyd. The Gimpy Music Muster. <laughs> is <laughs> very prestigious, but not that prestigious. Lizzie. 
I think it's La Nina with her song Umbrella. Oh, my God. Oh. What's the uh, what's the event? This is this is the big one for our musician Sam. Halftime the Super Bowl. Correct. The points are that yours. is correct. We have to take a break. Grace's new memoir is out now. Would you please thank Grace Payne? <laughs>